We're in California in front of the headquarters, the North American headquarters of Byton. And uh, look what I got behind me. It is actually the latest prototype um, of the M Byte. And uh, this is pretty much going to be the final version. Now I know it's in camouflage, but it is the first time I see it. I know there are some subtle changes for you uh, fans who are really uh, uh, into this car. There are some subtle changes that they've made, but this is pretty much the final design. So that's pretty exciting, but that's not what I'm here. I'm here because I I got woken up today by kind of weird news uh, that uh, Karsten Breitfeld is no longer CEO of Byton, which kind of really just blew my mind. So as I started, you know, reading the press release and everything, and I was like, wow, that is that is insane. As you know, Karsten's been on my show, what, four or five times now. Um, I really, really like his leadership. Uh, but as you know, they have a split responsibilities between Karsten, who is a CEO, and Daniel, who is a president. Uh, they are a global brand. They, they have uh, uh, the global headquarters uh, in Nanjing, uh, China. And then, of course, their headquarters, European headquarters, and there's uh, North American headquarters. Well, so I was like, uh oh, that, that can't be good. But m the more I, I kind of started dive into it and I uh, talked to my contacts uh, in Byton, and apparently this was actually planned all along. And, you know, for those of you Tesla fans, this is actually what Elon Musk kind of should have done in the first place. Um, if you guys kind of, uh, uh, understand how, how, how the small companies uh, that start out grow into bigger companies. Um, they usually try to separate the, the CEO uh, and, the, uh, and the board, especially the chairman of the board. Now, I know a lot of times, uh, I'm right next to San Francisco Airport, sorry, uh, San Jose Airport. So a lot of times, uh, you know, it's the same person, but then, uh, you know, as the company grows, especially with Byton being pretty much a global brand, they're just about to go into production. Um, you want to separate those because the board of directors is essentially supposed to be overlooking uh, the management team, including the CEO, and you kind of don't want them to be the same person. You know, all this trouble that kind of Elon has been into, it's kind of essentially because of that. Uh, and, and I guess it's been planned all along. So what's going to happen is Carson is now uh, just the chairman of the board and that's going to be his uh, position. Uh, he's still going to be the, the, the face of the company, which I really like. I mean, uh, the interviews with him, if you've seen any, uh, you, you, can just, you can just see this is the guy who should be the face of this company. Now, the CEO responsibilities and the title will now go to uh, Daniel. So Daniel will be president and the CEO and Carson will be the uh, the chairman of the board. So that's how it's going to go forward. It looks like there will be no real changes in terms of how uh, this company is going to be run. Uh, but, um, and I'll, I'll tell you why I, I like this. Of course, before that, let me just uh, remind you guys that this uh, um, uh, video and this channel is sponsored by the StarmanGifts.com, the home of the adventures of Starman. I have my copy right here. But uh, if you go to the description of this video, uh, you can get a discount code. And there are quite a few other things um, in their store and the discount code works with all of them that you guys if you if you're you know spacex or elon musk fans this this definitely is for you guys so check that out thank you to uh starman gifts for sponsoring this video all right so uh, th th this is the reason I don't think that I am no, no longer as worried as I was when I just woke up to it uh, is because, you know, as I talked to both of them uh, throughout pretty much the last year since they uh, came out of the stealth mode, um, their vision is very, very, very much similar. I would say 95% as I talked to them, uh, the vision is very much the same. The, 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 the focus is on producing the car. The focus is on actually uh, meeting the deadlines, which they have. If, if you guys followed my reporting on Byton, these guys have promised nothing that they couldn't deliver on, um, including their factory that now, as you've seen from my report uh, a couple of weeks ago, is pretty much finished. And that's why this car is going in production and will be uh, in the hands of its first customers at the end of this year. Um, so um, the, the vision that they both had uh, and the half, at least for my personal conversations even with them, uh, is, is pretty much uh, uh, dead on uh, the, the matches. There's no disagreements as, as far as I could tell. Um, so uh, I guess Daniel being in you know China and that's where the production will start, that's where the focus is right now, um, he will basically be in charge of operations and then uh, the uh, Karsten will uh, kind of uh, run the business from the other side, if you will, at this point, the other side of the line. So, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share it with you. I actually am on my way uh, to uh, a Kia Media Drive. They're going to be, I'm going to be exploring their uh, Kia Nero EV launch here in North America. But because I heard the news and I was literally passing by uh, Biden's offices in Santa Clara, I thought I would stop by and do my report from here. All right, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think? If you're already reservation holders, by the way, it does not take any money at all to put down to reserve this car.
I am one of them for sure. So uh, hopefully uh, you uh, can check that out, Byton.com. Um, other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.